Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's good to see you again. In case you're new here, I'm Cheryl. And I'm Aaron. And we're Avery Street Design Studio. We are. On today's uh, episode, this is the fourth episode of our Christmas series. Mm -hmm. We've got three more really awesome Christmas projects for you guys to do. Yep. Um, the first one is going to be a block tree. Mm -hmm. Um, it's made out of wood, of course. It's a uh, new style of tree that we just stumbled across. I, I've never seen one like it before. It's really awesome. It is. Um, it kind of reminds me of the ceramic Christmas trees, except mm -hmm. made out of wood. So yep. that'll be exciting. Yep. And the next one is going to be a light bulb ornament. Mm -hmm. um, you can either hang them on the tree by themselves, or you can string them on a string and like hang them on your fireplace mantle. They're really cute and fun and they'll be really easy to do another scroll saw project yes love the scroll saw <laughs> and then the third one is going to be a round uh door hanging holiday door hanging yes uh we're going to do that on our table saw jig circle jig for the table saw um i learned how to make this a long time ago on the woodworkers guild of america website mm -hmm. uh and they are the sponsor of today's episode Woodworkers Guild of America is your online resource for woodworking instructions, ideas, and information. It has tons of videos you guys would be interested in that I get questions about all the time. Stuff like making your own stain, new projects that you can do that they give you step-by-step -step instructions on, videos on how to use hand tools, and even videos about how to sand. We've been getting into a lot of videos about how to do new scroll saw techniques, and I've been finding lots of jigs that I want to make for my table saw and the other tools. Also, I'm starting to get into wood turning and they have a ton of resources on how to do that. Woodworkers Guild of America is always putting up new premium videos to keep you coming back for more and to help you stay inspired. So we are so excited to have Woodworkers Guild of America as our sponsor today. We are. And the first 1,000 people, tell them what they get, Aaron. Yeah, for new members, you get a full year of premium membership to Woodworkers Guild of America for only $1.49. That includes all their premium videos, live Q&As with their instructors, just so much to learn, so many tutorials. It, it's endless, it seems like. So the only thing you have to do is uh, follow the link in mm -hmm. the description below, and that'll take you to where you can get that uh, membership for $1.49, but you got to hurry because yep. it's only the first 1,000 people. Yeah, you guys don't want to miss out on this. It's no. awesome. So our first project today is going to be the door hanging. It's going to be a circle. Um, it's going to probably say Merry Christmas or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. And it will. Uh, there will be a little bit of cost involved in this because we'll be putting some uh, bow and maybe some uh, Christmas-looking uh flowers yep and things. some bells probably yep. yep yep and don't forget to stick around to the end and you'll see all the finished products and how much we would sell them for and all the measurements yep. let's, let's get, get started, started. <laughs> so this is the table saw jig that i have been telling you about we use it to cut circles out on the table saw uh, this is this is probably the sixth or seventh iteration of this jig that i've made because they get used every day uh, so this is an 18 inch circle we've got nine inches marked from the blade on the jig and we've found the center point in the wood and we've drilled a hole and we're just going to rotate it on that on that circle and we're going to cut it out I have to tell you, when you're using the circle jig and you're turning a circle on this jig, you always want to turn it clockwise. Don't ever turn it back the other direction. Always turn it into the blade or else the blade will grab the piece and spin it out of your hands. That's the most important thing when using this jig. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna put a couple of coats of white on the door hanging, just using white latex, and then we'll do a little bit of distress on it. And Cheryl will put the letter in here in a few. So we're going to distress the door hanger. Uh, on this one, we're just going to do around the edge, going to burn through the paint so where the wood shows through. Start out light, mm -hmm. and then if that's not enough distress, then do it heavier. Yep. But if you go heavy right off the bat, you might mess it up, and then you'll have to end up repainting. So just it's best to just start off lightly and yep. then go, you know, gauge that as you go. And I just kind of start going around until... I see the paint coming off and then I kind of ease up a little bit. So I've taken my circle. I took a sprig of greenery that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It was only a few dollars. Um, and then I made a bow and I have stapled all of this on because I think that holds better than hot glue because sometimes hot glue can come unglued. So this is a really sturdy way of doing it. And on the back of it, I have taken um, some thick jute rope and I've tied a couple of knots and I have stapled that on the back. I have a door hanging like this at home that's one that's good all year long and mine is hanging with rope like that and I've never had any problems. So it's just the bow, the greenery, just position it how you want um, and however you want to make a bow. And then I hung a couple of bells on it. So then when the door opens, the bells will jingle, which is, I think is a cute touch. Unless bells annoy you, then <laughs> of course you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to do that. So I'm just going to fold my stuff up while I put my lettering on. And I'm just going to find my center. It's just a stencil I made on Cricut. I just spelled out the words, Merry Christmas and uh, cut it out with some blank stencil paper, stencil sheets. You can get those at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's like $3.99 for a pack of three or four, I think. But I always save the scraps. I cut off what I don't use and save it. So if I have smaller projects, I can uh, do that. So I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna use my uh, skinny Faber-Castell marker. It's B is the uh, number of marker it is um, because there's some very skinny parts to this lettering. So now I'm just gonna connect my letters. And these are so skinny, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and use a ruler on these. And there it is. 
So the next project is going to be the block Christmas tree. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a new style, like I said before, that we stumbled across. Uh, we're going to make this one out of pallet wood. Um, basically squares stacked up on top of each other. Uh, really, really cool. Yeah. yeah, and you can paint them. You could string lights around mm -hmm. them, put a star at the top, however you want to do it, but they're really cute. So they I'm are. excited about this one. Me too. Let's get going on it. So for the Christmas tree, I've glued up some pallet wood and cut them down to eight inches wide. I've got a couple of them here and I'm going to run them through the planer to make them all uh, the same width, make it smooth. So let's do that. All right, we've got them all playing down there relatively flat. Um, we're gonna start by cutting up a bunch of squares, two each of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. So we're gonna do that now. So we're gonna start by, well, we've got all our parts cut and now we're over here at the table saw. We're going to bevel all four of the edges at 30 degrees on each one of the pieces. I'll do the eight inch pieces so you can see it, uh, but then I'll do the rest of them off camera because it's gonna take a little while. So let's get started on that. Your board, board should look like that. We're gonna do that with all the pieces. So there is a small, small piece that goes on the top that is a two inch by two inch piece. Uh, agonized about how to cut that with the bevels on it. Uh, I ended up cutting the bevels on the bandsaw because that is entirely too close to the blade to put your fingers. So and I didn't show it, but that's how I did it. So you now can, we're. You can build a sled though. To you can do. build a sled. And that's something we'll probably do in the future for the table saw is a crosscut sled because they're perfect for tiny pieces like this. You can clamp them to the sled and your fingers aren't in danger of getting amputated. So. That's probably another thing they could find on Woodworkers mm -hmm. Guild of America That's true. as well. They, they have tons of jigs for stuff like that. Yeah. So now we're going to assemble the tree. We've got our little peak. We've got our tiny little two inch piece and we're going to put it all together. We're starting with the uh, base of the little tree. Uh, this one is four inches by four inches and then we've got four pieces of pallet wood that are a little over half inch. Uh, we've got four of those to stack up and nail together. We're just gonna put some glue. Well, first I'm gonna nail through the piece onto the table. Don't do that. All right, we're gonna resume after that. Four pieces stacked on top of each other. We're gonna glue them and staple them.
Alright. Now we start setting pieces on. I'm not exactly sure of the scientific way to do this. We're just going to look at it and eyeball it. And we're going to start catty corner from the base. So it's going to be, it's going to be catty corner. Is there another word? Or for, kitty corner. Kitty corner. Say. If you're from Texas or Oklahoma, it's, catty. it's kitty corner. No, it's catty. Okay. We don't say that here. If you're from Arkansas, it's kitty corner. There you go. I hope that's, hope that's centered. Y'all let us know how you say it where yeah. you live. Is it, do you say kitty corner or catty corner? And the higher we go, the more it looks like a tree. You can see it doing its thing. Now we're gonna put the tiny little point on. We're just gonna let that hang out there until the glue dries. I don't wanna put any, any nails in it. Before we go any further on this project, I wanna shout out a guy from Cedar River Woodworking. The design from this tree belongs to him and the design for his little um, extreme angle jig that I'm using belongs to him. I don't wanna steal anybody's ideas, so Big ups to him. I really, I really, I really like his stuff. So we're going to make a 70 degree tip that goes on this uh, tree uh, using the 45 degree extreme angle jig here for the miter saw. I've got the secondary fence set at 45 degrees and then my saw is set at 25 degrees to make 70. And we're gonna get a really steep cut on this on this peak. So you see we've rotated the piece four times and we've cut that 70 degree angle. It's, it's like a spear tip. Very, very steep, perfect peak. Pretty awesome. 
we've got our point made and we're just gonna cut it at a 90 degree just below that that whatever that is where the point starts now we have a tiny little Christmas tree point so I'm gonna mix a little paint for the Christmas tree I don't really want it to be super bright green so I'm gonna take some green and then I'm gonna add a little bit of brown we'll see how that turns out <laughs> All right, we're gonna paint the super sharp Christmas tree. If you do build one of these, be careful, they'll poke you. She uh, mixed up some green. We're gonna kind of hang it, hang it upside down and get all the underneath parts. And then we're gonna set it, set it on the lazy Susan and get the top side. We're doing two different angles, uh, two different cameras. This time, hopefully we can get better shots and a more variety of shots for that. All right, there's the tree part. So our cherry tomato plant is still <laughs> making tomatoes. There's gonna be so many. So uh, now is the time where we do the uh, viewer participation pictures. Yes. We had a couple of really good ones this week. Uh, the first one is John McQueen with McQueen Woodcrafts. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. He sent the pictures of the mittens. There's the picture. They all look fantastic. Yes. We love them a lot. Really yes. good job. Great job. Uh, and then the second one is Lamar Tosh. He sent a couple pictures, and these are full of good looking stuff. A few of the things that we saw uh, that he may have gotten from us were the uh, big pumpkins and a couple cutting boards yep. and some cheese boards and a couple small pumpkins. So here's the picture of that. Thank you, Lamar. We did a really good job on that too. Yes. We appreciate you guys participating. It, it makes us very happy to see what you're doing. Yeah, we love seeing your photos. Mm -hmm. um, it makes us feel like what we're doing is, is it, it worthwhile. Does. Yeah, we appreciate it a lot. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. So if you would like to uh, send in your pictures for a future episode, uh, here is the email address. I'll put it right there at the bottom. Uh, send us some pictures, put your name, and uh, tell us why you're sending the email. Yeah, I'll put a, in the subject matter of yep. the email uh, pictures for YouTube. Yeah, we get lots of emails and we may miss them if we don't yes. don't know what they so, are. So we look forward to seeing them. That's right. We appreciate you guys sending in your stuff. We love it. Yes. And like I said, if you want to participate, email us your stuff. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And for our final uh, project of today, we're going to do the light bulb ornament. Mm -hmm. um, I just found a light bulb template, a free template online. You can just Google it or however you want to find it yep. and printed it out and then traced it on uh, to the wood. And we're going to cut it out on our scroll saw. Yeah, very exciting. We love the scroll saw. Yeah, stuff. we do. Yeah. So let's get started on that one. Yep. So I've got the little ornaments here. Aaron has drilled a hole in them for me and we spray painted them white because anytime you're gonna do a bright color, you wanna do a white base. Otherwise, you're gonna have to paint too many coats. This kind of fills in and makes it opaque. So I always do that um, first. So I'm gonna paint the top of the bulb uh, green because on those old fashioned vintage uh, Christmas lights, 
they are a dark green. And then I'm gonna do the uh, typical Christmas light colors, which are red, yellow, orange, and blue. So that's all we're doing here. So I'll start with some red. And you'll probably have to do a couple of coats. I'll paint the sides. I'm going to come in with the first coat of the green. That way it can be drying along with the first coat of the color. This gets a little tricky when the bottom half's wet because you can't really pick it up. So I just try to give it a coat as best I can. We'll let those dry and come back with another coat. So after looking at the tree, you know, we had painted the bottom brown. It was just too dark. I didn't really like the way it looked. So I've repainted the bottom and painted it white, which brightens it up and looks a lot better. But I have this unicorn spit gel stain. And I thought, well, that would look really cool on the Christmas tree because it's like a green glittery uh, gel stain. This stuff is awesome. So I'm going to brush this over it. This is this stain is pretty good. You can uh, use it over acrylic paint, whatever. Um, so and it cleans with water. So that's that's very nice for stain. Bonus project, we are going to add a project. These little slotted Christmas trees that fit together. I'm gonna to cut these out on the bandsaw. Uh, we weren't expecting to do these, but we are, so yay. So we're gonna just do some distress on these. We thought about spraying the, spraying the glitter stuff on them, but they look really cool, just distressed. So that's, that's how we're gonna keep them. Yeah. 
All right. So these are the uh, four projects we did this week. Yep. We did the door hanging, which I think turned out so pretty. Mm -hmm. I love this. I'm going to put it up in place of the one I have right now. The one I have right now says welcome, and then it has some like magnolias and little cotton mm -hmm. uh, plants on it. And there's a billion different ways you could do this. Yeah. This, Customize it all you like. Yes. Yep. You so. could put welcome on it or, you know, mm -hmm. happy holidays, uh, Feliz yeah. Navidad. All kinds of stuff yeah. you could add or take away. Greenery and bells, of course. Yes. Little so just, silhouettes of something. You anything. could even paint the circle to look like a peppermint and then put uh, the words on it, which would be really mm -hmm. cute, and put some like little, um, they sell those little candy looking ornaments at Hobby Lobby. You could put some of those in like the greenery and like a Candyland Christmas. Yeah, we might start getting creative with this with our X tool and experimenting on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you have an X tool, there's no limit to what you can do. Excuse me, my allergies yep. are Early. crazy. Apparently, it's still summertime here in Oklahoma. It's mm -hmm. like going to be 90 degrees today. I'm cold right now, so I'm on long sleeves, but yeah. I'm ready for fall. Why don't you guys to... tell us where where you're from in the comments yeah. and what kind of weather you're having right now? We got all the bees out there foraging for uh, <laughs> pollen for, yeah. the, for the winter. Yeah. So anyway, on this, we would do <laughs> 65. You could probably find a, a good box to put this in and maybe get free shipping for 8 or 10 bucks. If yeah. not, charge a little extra for shipping. Yes. Uh, 65 on that. That yes. turned out really good. Yeah, I love that. Uh, the next one are the little take apart trees. Yes. These are so cute. Mm -hmm. uh, they just, you can take them yeah, apart and lay them flat point. for shipping. Yep, so. you just stick them in a little flat box and ship them. Uh, the ones I found, Oops. they, uh, they had, yeah. Sets of three. We did a set of two, and we would do 20 on these. You could do another one. Like a bigger size? For 30. Yeah. Uh, like we, the, the shipping was just nothing on these, I'm sure. We couldn't figure out how we wanted to finish these, and yeah. so we decided to do white to look like snow-covered trees. And then Aaron distressed them, mm -hmm. which I absolutely love the look of this. It turned out so yeah, pretty. Cool. Yeah. And those were really easy to do. You mm -hmm. know, it's just your... Yeah. Um, scroll saw. If you don't have a scroll saw, it's something really good to save up for. You know, you can get the low end. Well, they used to be around a hundred. I don't know how much they are now. We did these on the bandsaw, so even even a yeah. cheap bandsaw for yeah. stuff like this is good. But the scroll saw is awesome. We love you it. You could even use a, a jigsaw. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, for to the do fine, it. So. Fine tooth bit. Yes. OSB cuts real easy. It That's does. What these are made out yeah. of. So you can cut it out on anything, probably. Yeah. Yep. All right. So 20 for the set of two, 30 for a set of three on those. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to go ahead and put in the uh, Christmas ornaments. Just put a picture right here. You can see them. We did ours like a banner type and we're hanging, we have them hanging on our fireplace mm -hmm. mantle and that's probably where I'll put them at Christmas. Yeah. Now, would I list those on <laughs> Etsy? Probably not. Um, the time it took to paint was kind of, I had to do so many coats. Mm hmm um, I guess as a banner, I would, cause I could get a little more for that. If I was going to do a craft show, I would just do them individual. I would make a little stand yeah. in the, in the wood shop to hold ornaments. And that would be those low, uh, low end, low cost, uh, things for everybody, mm -hmm. you know, cause you got to have every price range when you're setting up for a show. Um, so I would sell those individual at a craft show. Oh, five bucks. Another one, I, I made these at the beginning of the year, so I didn't get it on camera, but they're little snowmen. They are so easy. <laughs> it is a skinny little piece of board. Yeah. And then a skinnier piece glued. Oh, scrap wood. Of just glued, stuff we had, yeah, right? at an angle to look like a hat. And yeah. then I just painted and drew a face on there. Kind of show you a zoomed in picture yeah, of it. Yeah. And then I, um, Got some fabric and made a little scarf. Yeah, they're cool. Um, I made several different kinds. And then I got an eye hook to put in the top of them. Um, yeah, you made like a hundred of those. I did. In, I in made a hundred, yeah. Um, these were really fast to make. Mm -hmm. I just glued them all one day. Then the next day I painted yeah. them all. Then the next day I did the face and the 
scarf and the hook. These are the kind of things we're always talking about, the little cheap stuff. Not everybody has a ton of money, but, yeah. you know, five bucks, they sure buy that. Yeah, like if I did a, a, a Christmas show, mm -hmm. which there's so many of them right now, those are the best shows yeah. to set up at. And I sold these for five bucks a piece. Yeah, you sell a hundred of them, that's $500. Uh, yeah, and you know, they're handmade, they're hand painted, mm -hmm. the face is hand painted. Wouldn't cost you anything to make them. Um, always make sure you include that info, like sell your product, yeah. you know, just say that it's all handmade and hand created, hand painted, because people really like that. They'll mm -hmm. pay more just to have that. Um, so those are really good ideas. I'm sure I can come up with a ton more ornament ideas. So I might throw in some yeah. uh, here and there on the Christmas episodes. If you had a like a small CNC machine or something that you could do oh, repeat man. cuts with like the light bulbs, you could probably make pretty good money. But doing them by hand and painting them by hand, it's just not not cost effective to to do them to sell online. I didn't mind the cutting. That really didn't take yeah. that long. It was the painting. But I was also thinking I should have done it. I have a airbrush mm -hmm. machine. And I have all those colors. So I should have got that out yeah. and airbrushed. And it, you know, because that dries like instantly. Yeah. You can get those on Amazon um, for around $100. Yeah. And they come with the gun. They come the with all the paint, yeah. the compressor. So that's a good thing for uh, crafting is to have an airbrush too. Yeah. So we would not sell those, but that's an idea. I wouldn't sell them on Etsy. Yeah. Let's rephrase that. Yeah, I would Etsy do them getting, at a show. Getting to where it's not, the tiny stuff doesn't doesn't really become worth your time. Well, it doesn't cover all of yeah. the um, costs that they, you know, their end, the stuff they charge right. us as sellers. Um, so bigger items now like this door hanging yeah that would be worth your time absolutely yeah, worth, or this worth big the tree or even those yeah. but little tiny things those are know. great for for markets and stuff but also shows. keep in mind the smaller the item and the smaller the sale price on <laughs> etsy is the smaller smaller <laughs> commission for them yeah. so uh, it's price adjusted so if you feel like you want to sell them on etsy then you know go for it uh, for us it's just Keeping up with the schedule we have mm -hmm. um, for running our business full time and then also filming and doing that little tiny tedious things just don't work for yeah, us. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, so. So that's those. And then we did the super cool, uh, I don't know, octagon, pentagon. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's cool Christmas tree, the block Christmas tree. Well, let's with, see that's all the day. Bevels. Eight, that's uh, an octagon. Well, I'm talking about the shape from the top. Oh, See that? whatever cool. a foregon is. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, I don't this, know. Yeah. By the way, I'm going <laughs> to shout him out again. He doesn't even know I'm saying this probably, yeah. but this guy from Cedar River Woodworking is where we got the idea. I hate stealing anybody's ideas. I don't ever want to do that. No. So. Big, big thanks to him. Maybe I'll tell him that we did a video about it. Yeah, and he he made, he made it yeah. look easier than yeah, we did. Yeah, it was a struggle. Um, so we were just taking his project mm -hmm. and doing it for our channel because I love the That's tree. Cool, it's so cool. Cool design. Now, originally, I think I told you guys when I was painting, I had painted this brown, and then I decided it was just too dark. Yeah. And so we did it white. I even thought if you wanted to get super creative... You could do one of those little barn mm -hmm. X's on here, make it look very farmhousey, yep. um, and then you know we mixed our paint and painted it a darker green, and then we took the unicorn, unicorn spit uh, Christmas glitter <laughs> gel stain, which those are so fun, yep. um, and it, I think it turned out really cute. It reminds me of those old, I've said the that ceramic, on the video yeah. earlier too, but those ceramic Christmas trees. And just take like, you could take like little wooden beads and mm -hmm. paint them and then just glue them on there yeah. and dress the it up. the lights. Cut out, yeah, we could put lights on it, um, cut out a little star on your scroll saw and mm -hmm. put it on there. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so that one we would do 75 on. Mm -hmm. um, and this is something that if you decide to do it and ship it, you most definitely want to insure it because pack it really well or that little top will get knocked off in shipping and yes. you'll be in trouble so pack it well really really protect it inside the box yeah and it'll do fine but this was this was my favorite one of the week yeah it's super yeah, super cute 75 on that one um so i will uh and we'll, we'll include all the links for the unicorn spit stain 
Um, the markers uh, for your markers. Um, I'll include <clears throat> one for the airbrush mm -hmm. uh, kit that I bought on Amazon. All these will be Amazon links. Uh, we're finally getting an Amazon storefront set up. So mm -hmm. anything that I, you know, recommend is something that I've used. I wouldn't just put stuff that I don't know anything about. So, um, and yeah. You, yeah, you guys should really consider checking out the Woodworkers Guild of America. Although we advertise for them, I really do belong to it. It's an amazing site. There are so oh, yeah. many videos to look through. So many ideas I've never even thought of. So mm -hmm. consider checking it out and joining because you won't be disappointed with that. Yeah. Um, and if you've been woodworking long, I'm sure you guys remember New Yankee Workshop. Mm -hmm. We both watched it um, <laughs> years ago on. when it was yeah. on. Well, having the Woodworkers Guild is kind of like a resource resource yeah. like that. Um, say, you know, you want to know how to make a certain kind of jig, just mm -hmm. go in there and look for it. You can find it. Yeah. And I mean, like a dollar forty nine, you can't even really mm -hmm. get a candy bar yeah, for that price anymore. So, so that was really good. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, check I'll it out. Put the link in the description for that. Yeah. You guys really need to look into it. Yeah. So that'll do it for this week. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Yeah. It helps us stay current in the algorithm. It helps us move up in the searches. And we so much enjoy mm -hmm. doing this. We love uh, creating and that's what makes us happiest mm -hmm. is making things. So, and being able to share that with you guys and just hoping we can teach you guys yeah. something you might not know, or you might be better at it than we yeah, are. You might but be able to teach us. Something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a, it's quite a gift for us. It so is. we do appreciate it. Yes, we do. So, uh, stay tuned. We'll let you know when the next one's coming out. Um, we've got lots of ideas lined oh, up. Oh, we've got our Q&A mm -hmm. episode coming out, and we're doing it this Wednesday. Yep. So make sure you tune in for that. Yep. It'll be 10 a.m. Uh, did Wednesday, I say Tuesday? I meant Wednesday, Wednesday yeah. 10 a.m. on Wednesday, 10 a.m. Central Time. That's mm -hmm. what time we are here in Oklahoma. Yep. So just set your watch according to that. And if you have any questions between now and then, uh, give us a comment. Shoot yep. us an email or a message. We'll try to get them in the video. Any of them, yeah. Uh, yeah so. so thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. We will. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.